Welcome to the CST stand at European Microwave Week 2008, where I'm talking to Marketing Director Martin Tim. Martin, I understand that you have an important new release to announce at the show. Yes, indeed, Richard. We have finished the release 2009 last Friday, so currently we have sent everything to production and we are hopefully that we can ship everything in the next two to three weeks. What are the main features of this? the new CST? Again, uh, performance was one of the key issues in the release. We have improved this in many aspects. One is of course interoperability, interactivity, so the user sitting in front of the uh, computer. The other is real hardware implementation speed right. and improve algorithmical improvements. Mm -hmm. So the user-friendly features are quite important. Can you tell me more about those? Yes, um, design engineer time spent in front of the computer is very expensive, so uh, reducing the time for the modeling process is one of the key objectives here. And we have implemented many features, and I can show you actually two of them just here on, on my laptop. So the first thing I want to show you is a band feature. This is very useful in particular if you uh, want to model conformal antennas or other conformal objects. What you have is a sheet here and you have a 3D object where you want to uh, wrap the sheet on, you select the sheet, you go to the objects, bench sheet feature, you select the 3D object and then you select one face after the other and the uh, sheet is automatically wrapped around the 3D structure and just acknowledge this and you have a perfect conformal model. Okay. The other thing that I wanted to show is a copy and paste between different project files. So I've opened two project files here, a T-splitter and a small filter, and I want to import this filter into the T-splitter. I just press Control c in the filter, go to the T-splitter, press Control v here, mm -hmm. and you see the 3D object is imported, and by selecting two faces, I automatically can adjust the position, press return, and we have the uh, imported and aligned structure here. Oh, that's very simple. Can you tell me more about the frequency domain mesh adaptation? Yes, for the 2009 version we have entirely revised the mesh adaptation scheme inside CST Microwave Studio. Traditionally, mesh adaptation in frequency domain solver and tetrahedral meshes works like this. You have a pre-segmented structure and in the adaptation process the uh, tetrahedrons get finer and finer, but they do not change the original segmentation of the structure anymore. The approach of CST is different. We project the newly created tetrahedrons back on the original structure and by that improve as well the original geometry approximation and though also the, geome uh, the accuracy of the results finally. Well, that's great. Thanks a lot, Martin. You're welcome.